welcome to another YouTube video from beautiful Greece. Came to this place called Lassit, got a glass of Greek rosé. So that's the specials today, crab salad, quinoa salad, Greek rosé. Good afternoon guys, welcome to another YouTube video from beautiful Greece. I'm still in the Greek Riviera area and I'm at a place called the Kavuri. It's pretty much everything is kind of close to each other. Gifaldi, sorry, I keep on saying Gifaldi is Gilfara. Gilfara, my bad, my bad. It's Gilfara, so Gilfara, Kavuri, everything is kind of next to each other. It took me exactly a five minute Uber ride to come over here from Gilfara and what a beautiful place is this. And they've got fantastic restaurants, bars. So I came here in the afternoon today just to just check out this place have some, you know, maybe get a coffee, get some food, get some lunch maybe. Let's check out this place. And another time I'm gonna come over here in the evening because it looks so beautiful. I hear the restaurants are a little bit expensive over here, like goes about 70 to 80 euros per person. But let's see, there's a lot to, you know, see and a lot to discover. So stick around, I'm gonna show you the places that I'm going to. And this is so beautiful, so heavenly. I promise you'll love this video. <music> How beautiful is the view of the sea over here? People are kind of hanging out. The beach, I'm not a big fan of these beaches because this is not like a sandy beach. It's kind of a muddy beach, but still there are people are just chilling out, sunbathing and having a good time. But the weather is just absolutely gorgeous. It's not too hot and not too you know chilly either. Beautiful. <music> If you just come from the beach, which is right over there, that's the beach area, to this kind of the road, you can see how beautiful the houses are over here, the apartments that's facing the sea over there. I think some of them are expensive hotels, but this is so beautiful because it's not touristy at all. This is, you kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of Athens and just come to either Glyphara or to Kavuri and stay over here for a couple of days. I definitely, definitely recommend it. You would love it. It's so peaceful, so beautiful. Look at these hotels and, uh, and apartments over here. Just absolutely gorgeous. So taking a walk over here, enjoying this beautiful sun, this weather, and just walking around and discovering this neighborhood. The sea on one this side, kind of this apartments and buildings and kind of this grassy area and this woody area right over here. It's just so beautiful. And this walk, there's all kinds of like board. On this side, near the beaches, or on the beach is the boardwalk and just a little bit on the upside near the hills or I won't even call it the hill but a little bit of an elevated land over here. Beautiful walk, you can just walk around, look at this place, just chill out and look at the views. It's just amazing. So guys, Kavuri is the name of the place. If you're near Athens, definitely come and visit. I definitely recommend this place. I'm gonna take you to some bars and restaurants and show you also how the lunch scene is over here. So don't go away, more to come. Look at this amazing pathway you can take to just go down to the beach area. It's just an amazing experience. It's so gorgeous. You gotta be here, you know, to experience this. So much I can show you, you gotta be here. I'm so excited to just bring you over here through my eyes, but you gotta be here to actually experience this beauty. It's just amazing. You know, Greece is considered one of the most beautiful places on this planet. So guys, came to this place called Lassit. It's a beautiful, beautiful cafe right on the water. And I'm going to show you the view from here. It's just fabulous. Check that out. How beautiful this place is. People are relaxed, people are sitting, people are enjoying their drinks and food. This is a cafe slash restaurant. So this place is called Lesid. It's right on the water as I showed you. You can, you can have food, you can have coffee, you can have wine, whatever you choose. This is what I sometimes like about these places is not that food is mandatory. You can just chill out. There's no poor, you know, pressure to have something that you don't want to. I've seen that a lot in New York where every time you go to a place that you like, you're almost being pushed. You gotta have food, otherwise you cannot sit. I mean, I understand that 
you cannot take up a space and sit there forever, but sometimes you gotta be a little bit relaxed about things. And this is what I love about you know, Greece. I've seen this in many places where you just come, you just chill out, they just ask you, is it for food or is it for drinks or is it for coffee? Everything is okay. Everything is absolutely okay. So just chilling out over here and showing you this experience and sharing with you is so beautiful. Definitely, definitely come over here. I'm gonna put a link below. And again, if you guys have come over here, definitely put a comment below saying what you like and what your thoughts are about this place. It's called Lasit. Definitely put a comment below if you have come here. <laughs> Cheers guys, got a glass of Greek rosé, let's try it out, supposedly it's a dry Greek rosé, let's see how it tastes. Mmm, I really like it. It has a little bit of that floral taste, which, but has got that dryness, which make it, makes it very, very unique. Very different from French rosé. French rosé is a lot more drier, less floral hints to it. But Greek rosé, what I've seen is has got a lot of floral hints, which along with the dryness, makes it very unique, very nice. Definitely recommend, you know, Greek rosé. Try it out, you'll like it. And by the way, these roses and wines over here are so, so reasonable. It's eight euros. This would have cost me at least 15 USD in New York. So eight euros is, you know, about less than $9. So you can see the difference in a swanky place like this with a beautiful view and fantastic service, you're basically paying 65% of the cost of New York City wines. Plus, this includes all taxes and everything. So in New York, if it was a $15 wine, you would have ended up paying close to $20, including tips, including tax, including everything. This includes everything. And as I say, it's 8 euros. And this is an expensive place. Everywhere else I saw, it's like about 5 euros. So I, <laughs> you do the math. <laughs> I think you'll love coming to Greece. So if you haven't been here, definitely visit. If you have here, please put a comment below and, and tell us what you liked and what you didn't like about this place it's like this. But every, every comment is welcome. Guys, it was just a fantastic experience sitting over there, having some wine. This is the life. This is why people come to Greece. But I feel like, you know, sometimes people go to a lot of touristy places, but this is so, upscale nice and not so touristy although there i was just checking the hotels in this neighborhood oh my god it's expensive the four season is about two thousand euros and then there's a villa over here that's about thousand five hundred euros so this is the greek riviera as the name says it's the posh expensive neighborhood but i would say the restaurant till now what i've seen is reasonable it's not as i said it's the, the wine was about eight euros everything included so i added two dollars i mean two euros as tip so 10 euros for a nice glass of it was more than a glass of rosé greek rosé so it's great so we're gonna go to another place right now and have some lunch so stick around more to come don't go away this is just a beautiful afternoon and i would love to share with you guys so don't go away please don't leave me <laughs> guys came to this really really beautiful restaurant it's called Ayopa Riviera and as you can see this whole atmosphere this whole ambience everything is so beautiful it's like right next to the ocean the ocean is right over here you can see the ocean just from here and the whole place looks so elegant so beautiful and of course the weather everything just makes it to another level so let's see how the food is. Let's dig in. Let's see what they're offering and what we can order. I'm, I'm looking for probably some, you know, some seafood over here. Maybe a salad, let's see. Definitely in a mood for a salad or seafood. Or maybe both, who knows. But let's see what the prices are and everything. So that's the specials today. Crab salad, quinoa salad, tuna tartar, crayfish tails, sea bass carpaccio. Mm, all of them look really good. Kind of thinking, what should I be eating? This is the main menu they have good grilled shrimps grilled sardines grilled octopus grilled squid all kinds of fresh fish sea bass sea bream wow this looks so yummy and they have got of course the meat dish this chicken sovalaki pork chops veal steak wow this is awesome and wow look at the mouth-watering desserts chocolate cake lime pie 
Musty cream, mm, musty cream. That's fantastic. And they have the salads over here, the Greek salad, the carob salad, the rocket spinach, some nice appetizers, tzatziki with Greek yogurt. Wow, yolo split, peas puree, Greek dolmades, of course, fried calamari, Asian shrimp salad. No, just fresh, fresh Asian shrimp. Saganaki shrimp, mmm, saute mussels, spicy mussels, beef meatballs. Wow, this, this menu is pretty extensive and very, very delicious. In the specials, they also have the crayfish, the white grouper, and you can see the prices, not too cheap. The mussel risotto and the ceviche, what's, wow. It's 90 euros per kg, must be fantastic. And the linguine is 100 euros per kg. Wow, that's expensive. So guys got a dry Greek rosé. This is a beautiful afternoon to kind of enjoy the rosé and got some Greek salad as well. Trying to be healthy with a little bit of rice over here which is a glass of Greek rosé. You can't not have a rosé you know with this kind of a weather and this beautiful like the atmosphere everything. You got to have that and I'm going to show you the Greek salad now. It looks very very fresh. Here you go guys. This looks Really, really fresh and yummy. Can't wait to dig in. Cheers, guys. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm, nice and dry. Doesn't have too much of floral taste to it. It's very, very dry wine, but really good. It's a great summery rosé. Fabulous. So, I hope you're enjoying my video. If you're loving my video, please do hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon because more videos are coming. And this Greek series, this Greek series is just at the beginning. There's several more videos are coming and I'm also going to another place in Europe very soon too. So you don't want to miss out on any of that. So that's why I'm saying, please do hit the subscribe and the bell icon. And if you're loving my videos, please do put a comment below also to tell me what you're loving and where else should I be going and where should I, should I be covering. As I said, the summer has just begun. So there's a lot more months and a lot more videos to come. So now let's try some of this Greek salad. Mmm. Fresh cucumber. It's the tomatoes. And of course some of the feta cheese. Just excellent. I love Greek salad so much I just can keep on eating every day for both meals. The freshness of that the vegetables with this with the kind of that balsamic vinegar and uh, the oregano and the feta cheese on top. Mm, mm, mm. Heavenly guys, heavenly. Just loving it. And the green peppers, of course. So guys, this is the life. Don't go away, more to come. So guys, uh, just uh, finished lunch. It was spectacular. Just loved it with this beautiful weather, the great food, the great rosé. So it came out to be about 25 euros. I mean, it's not super cheap, but it's not that bad either because it's about 11, pound, 11 euros for the salad and 8 euros for the wine. And then with taxes and everything, it came down, came out to be about 25 euros. So not too bad. Had a great time just sitting over here and relaxing. I hope you enjoyed this video because I'm going to end this video now. More videos to come. Please keep on watching and please keep on supporting. This is just the beginning of the Greek series. There are many more videos to come after this. So thank you for watching and goodbye from Athens. See you soon.